Three years ago, I was living in New York City and I moved all the way here to Bangkok, Thailand. So I'm going to basically explain how much better of a quality of life it is here in Thailand. Right now, we are in Phong Ro, which is kind of like the Soho of Thailand. Reason number one is going to be cost of living. Assuming most of you guys are from the West, you're probably going to save at least 50% on every single expense, if not more. December and it's like 95 degrees. So the cost of the living, it's the biggest single reason. Back then when I was living in New York City, I was spending $2,000 on rent and living with four other roommates. Now I live in one of the nicest neighborhoods here in Thailand for just around $500 a month. That is about the average price you're expected to pay here in Bangkok, Thailand for very luxurious, modern studio or one bedroom right in the heart of Bangkok. And these condos are absolutely beautiful. That is the single thing that sold me on the idea of moving to Bangkok or visiting Bangkok to be able to live like a king for just around $500 a month, which is basically impossible to do in the West. I could go on and on about the cost of living, but I think you get the point that everything here is much more affordable. So right now we're actually on our way to get some food, which brings me to reason number two. We go over here, we're gonna be taking a right. This is one of my favorite soys to get some real authentic and cheap street food. Uh, Okay, tom yum, tom yum, move up. Set. Set leg. Set leg, leg yum, ha, amara, this is. Uh, but I'm not. But I'm not. You can't eat that. Uh, sorry, can you eat that? I'm not. Hey, check it out, guys. We have some tom yum pork noodles and what did you get Yen -tapo. Yen -tapo. this is one of my favorite street dishes and this is only 50 baht thai food is i think it's my most favorite asian cuisine and that's coming from me as a korean i prefer thai food over korean food which is i don't know call me crazy but what i love about thai food is that it has so many flavors and they're just so harmonious for example this dish it's going to be a little bit vinegary, a little bit um, sour, a little bit sweet, salty. And we also have some more food here. This is a yum based dish. And then we have the stewed pork with rice. All of this was, I think, less than 200 baht. But let's say you're not a huge fan of Thai food. Well, no worries, because everywhere around you, you see international food. I think we have the largest Chinatown here and we have a Korean town. We have all these international franchisees like McDonald's. We have a ton of Western bars, a ton of European foods, literally everything you can think about. Thailand is definitely an international food hub. And of course it has to be because Bangkok and Pattaya and Phuket are some of the world's most visited cities. Every day I'm just amazed at the food here, the food quality, different flavors different options, the food delivery, and how it's only like two to three dollars instead of like America's Uber charging like thirty dollars for one dish, you know? Mm. Wow. They almost just got in a wreck. The next point is going to be about the community and the people. Now you've probably already heard that Thai people are very kind, very hospitable and very, just very nice people. I would like to extend on this by saying that it's because of the culture. And a lot of that has to do with Buddhism as well, because Buddhism is like the stronghold, is the religious stronghold of the culture. And the culture is the backbone of the society, right? So if you have good morals, then you have good culture. And if you have good culture, then you have a good society. It's like here in Thailand, 
I never have to worry about encountering like people that are gonna get triggered. I don't have to worry about walking on eggshells here. I can just be myself and as long as I'm not bothering anybody, no one's gonna bother me, you know? In America, you could be a good person and still find yourself getting into trouble with certain types of people. And as long as you don't speak badly of those in authority in Thailand, then you're good. It's just such a relief to live in a country where almost everybody's intentions are good and no one is trying to cause you harm, no one is trying to confront you for thinking differently or trying to change your mind on things. In America, where I'm from, it's just so divisive. Everybody is against each other. Everybody is like on a different team. It's like me versus you. That's how a lot of it is in America. But here in Thailand, I don't really experience any of that. Sure, everybody here has their different beliefs, but in the end of the day, we're still neighbors, you know? I feel like that's the attitude here in Thailand. And after living here in Thailand, it has done so much to my like mental health and my sense of well-being. Not having to deal with the consequences of bad people. We we're just heading home, gonna take a little break at home. But the next point is going to be relationships and women like you. So if you guys are new to my channel, we've been dating for almost two years now. I already made a video about what it's like dating in Thailand and kind of the differences between dating in Thailand and dating in America. But in short, the women here in Thailand, they know how to treat you. And I'm more so speaking to the men watching right now. I think most men like the idea of a traditional feminine woman that is going to take care of you. Now, even me stating this could be seen as controversial to people in Western societies. And they will misinterpret what I'm saying as in, oh, men just want some sort of servant, when that's not the case at all, what I mean. I mean, it's like a lot of men want a woman that's going to, you know, cook for me or like take care of the house or like do these like feminine duties. But in the West, if I even state this, I'm at risk of being cancelled. So it's absolutely spun. Here in Thailand, it is still quite conservative and still quite uh, traditional. There's a nice dynamic between masculine and feminine energy when it comes to dating here in Thailand. And by the way, what I'm saying here is not super rigid, okay? So it's like, it depends on each individual. But in general, the women here are just very feminine, very playful, very energizing and just beautiful and they just really know how to take care of you, in my opinion. But of course, you can meet the wrong type. Ah, uh -uh, see, she's, she's taking care of me, you know. As I'm recording this video, do you like guys to be, to act like a man? You know, do you want a guy to be strong and to be a leader and to be confident and masculine? Uh, I like everything you say. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like guy protect me or stronger than me yeah yeah everything but just don't fix me too much don't fix you yeah oh like don't control you yeah don't control yeah oh so cute so by the way papa did you miss us i just want to kiss my my mom finger Ooh. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to see you. Later. <laughs> All right, guys, just got back. The next point is going to be safety. Now, it's kind of crazy that this is actually like a luxury, you know, to have safety and that assurance that you're never going to encounter random acts of violence or crimes against you. This is like a luxury. And it's kind of like this like reverse American dream or reverse culturalism or something. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like you would expect living in a first world country like America would be safer than living in a second or third world country like Thailand where it's less developed and more impoverished to be more dangerous. But that's actually the opposite. Isn't that like the opposite of what everybody says and what everybody would expect? And it has everything to do with the culture. It's like you can be a perfectly good upstanding citizen in the West and still find yourself encountering random acts of violence or robbery or crimes against you. And it's like 100% not even your fault, yet it still might happen to you. Whereas in Thailand, I mean, don't get me wrong, it does happen, right? You know, I'm not going to say it's like there's zero 
percent crime obviously there is going to be a little bit of crime anywhere you go but in general it's a lot more safer and i feel a lot more comfortable here than i do in the west especially when i was living back in the united states i'd see these random people pushing grandmas in front of trains or like this like major shoplifting occurrences um these like violent protests everybody putting things on fire like when people protest here in in uh, thailand or even in Asia, for the most part, it's like very civil, very organized. The last thing I'll say about safety is the most dangerous thing that you'll ever experience. And it's quite dangerous actually, it's like riding on a motorbike. I've never gotten an accident myself, but a lot of my foreigner friends and Thai friends have gotten in pretty serious injuries riding those motorbikes. They are going fast. And a lot of these motorcyclists, drivers, they're not really concerned about like driving safely. They just want to drive fast, you know, and, and most times you're not going to have a helmet as a passenger. The only thing you can do is just hold on tight and just hope for the best. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty dangerous to be honest. I'm not going to even speak lightheartedly about it. But are you enjoying your snack? Are you enjoying your bone? And speaking of motorbikes, the next point is going to be transportation. Now, I'm specifically going to be talking about Bangkok here. It's like you can just step outside of your room and drive five minutes, go to a massage place, drive another five minutes, go to a mega luxury mall, walk six minutes, arrive at a very nice park, take a 10 minute motorbike, go to a very nice restaurant, and then take the metro station home and in 20 minutes, arrive back at your house. It's very easy to live here, as opposed to like a lot of other metropolis cities, uh, for example, like Los Angeles. You could not walk to the nearest coffee shop and then walk to a mall and then drive five minutes and go to like uh, a restaurant. And the last thing is going to be about how eventful it is here and how developed it is here. Specifically with Bangkok, every day there is something going on here. And there's always people going outside, gathering, eating, doing things together. And also speaking specifically about Bangkok, it's like the most developed places here and the most developed neighborhoods here in Bangkok look even nicer than like first world countries. The mega malls they have here, the architecture, the nightlife, the restaurants and hotels. It's like, wow, they have some good taste here and they're very on trends. Bubble, can you share your snack? <laughs> Bubble, can we have you? <laughs> but yeah, this was a very short list of all the things I like about Thailand. If you're ever gonna come here and you wanna connect with other nomads or expats also traveling to Thailand, make sure to join my Discord group down below. Connect with me on Instagram at I'm Paul Lee. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.